you talking to me? Yeah, what are you photographing? I'm being nosy. Oh, not much really. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and here I am down here. I thought I'd put myself in the corner for once and tell you guys what I was up to on this lazy Sunday afternoon. So basically I was uh, pretty bored and I thought I want to go out and take some photographs using the uh, LaRouge Pinhole 66 camera and a roll of Ilford's Pan F. So that's what I did. The clouds were nice and fluffy and the sky was blue. The sun was breaking in and out. I thought this is going to be a good ideal opportunity to go out and get some long exposure photography in the daytime. Uh, I didn't have a clue where I was going to go. I honestly didn't. All I know is that I wanted clouds and something in the foreground. But uh, I went out in the car and I ended up on a pathway which is at the top of the beach. And when I got there, I thought, okay, this is it. I'm going to challenge myself now. I've got to take photographs around here. I'm not going to move around anywhere else. And that's what I did. But I kind of got a bit stumped thinking, I don't know what to take pictures of now. I come across these railings, and uh, as long as I've got something close to that pinhole camera, anything else in the background is gonna be pretty much in focus. So the railings seemed quite appealing, and most of these images you see here are, are, are about 25 to 30 second exposures. And then I came across this archway, and just beyond the archway was some stairs, and I thought that might look like a nice photograph as well. And when I did some metering, I did spot metering for the outside, which was quite bright, and then I did some metering for the inside, which was quite dark and I kind of averaged in between and it gave me a reading of 16 minutes. <laughs> are you talking to me? Yeah, what are you photographing? I'm being nosy. Oh, uh, not much really. Oh, just, okay. Just that archway and uh, the stairs in between is pretty oh. archway really. So once that was done, I then found a bench as well. And you know, don't forget, I'm not taking photographs Winnie Lily. I'm looking at compositions, looking how the light is sitting on the on the subjects that I'm shooting, and I'm going for that. I was out for a couple of hours, um, but I found. Do you remember uh, in the UK in the 70s and 80s, we used to have this angry-looking rocking horse that the kids would all jump on. I found one of those, pretty nostalgic. So I thought that might look nice for a photograph. So I got the pinhole quite close to the horse's head, did another exposure on that one. And then still looking around thinking, what else am I going to shoot? I went back to the railings and thought I'd do another composition on the railings. So I went back, did another composition on the railings, and then I took a photograph of uh, the whole scene up from the top looking down over the beach. And then I stumbled across this old telephone box. And the reason for me taking a picture of this old telephone box is these are all going to be gone at some point. They're all going to be taken away. So I thought I'd get nice and low, and right next to the telephone box was a, was a street light as well. So I thought that might fill the frame a bit more. Uh, so I took an exposure on that. And I got into the dark room and made a contact sheet to see what I'd got and how well or how bad I exposed my film. And then after that, I started to get on with the print. Now, the first print I wanted to make was the archway because I'd grossly overexposed it. So I sort of set myself a challenge in the dark room to try and uh, make a print out of that archway to see what I could do. So I'll let the video run. I'll show you guys what I was up to in the dark room. And then I'll show you the prints afterwards, the remaining prints that I did. So uh, off camera, I finished doing my test strips. These are the ones that I did for underneath the arch. I've got three seconds, five seconds, and eight seconds. Eight seconds is what I'm going to go for, so I'll put those to one side, get rid of them. It's like the price is right, isn't it? Right, uh, eight, sec <laughs> eight seconds, whatever that means. Um, and then I did, I ended up doing a strip like this for the wall and the rest of the image, which I worked out to be six seconds. So what I need to do is project, I'm going to go for a print now and see how it looks, but I'm going to project the whole lot for six seconds and then for another two seconds just burn this area in so that gets eight seconds the rest of it gets six seconds if that makes sense so uh, i'll show you what i mean so i hope you guys can see what i'm doing it's sometimes difficult for me to show on camera um, when the image is being projected i'll try and figure it out for future videos but it's not very bright for me either 
I'm just putting these clamps down to hold my cardboard template down so no light seeps underneath. Okay, so six seconds projection, like we said. Off it goes, six seconds. So that's everything's had six seconds apart from underneath the arch. I want that to have eight seconds, so I'm going to have to do that in two parts. I'm trying to move around a tripod here. Um, I'll just turn the enlarger on so you guys can see uh, that it projected on here. There's my hole. I'm not ready to go yet, but I'm just going to count this in. I haven't got a hole that will cover the whole lot for two seconds. I could cut a mask out, but I'm not going to go to that extent. Let's see what happens. So I reckon two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's do it. Need to see how big. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, last thing, I wanted to burn the sky in a little bit actually. Now I'm going to burn the sky in a bit more. Let's give that another three seconds on the sky. One, two, three, off. Okay, it's only a test, so let's see how it looks. And she goes. I've got a feeling I might have nailed it. And I could try split grade filtering. I could try split grading it. But I've said in my previous videos, I quite enjoy dodging and burning. And not everybody has got filters for split grading. It took me quite a while to get into using filters on multi-grade paper. And although they go hand in hand, I started off with multi-grade paper before, quite some time before I got filters. But I could try a contrast zero and a contrast five and split grade and see how we get on, but I've still got a feeling I'll end up dodging and burning. This won't look too bad. I'm going to get this stopped and fixed, washed, and we'll see what we've got. <laughs> so this is the print, it's now drying, and I'm still too light on the wall, which is good news because that means I can reverse my dodging and burning process. I can burst it for eight seconds, the whole image, and then just using a dodge tool covering this area and let this burn. I want to try and just make pull a vignette in so it just gradually burns in, but maybe for another another 10 seconds. Let's see. Eight seconds. So that's going to work on uh, eight seconds and that's going to be enough for inside the archway and the stairs. I'm just going to use this uh, dodge tool and I'm going to let the image run. I'm going to do it for another eight seconds. We'll see what happens. I'm going to come into a vignette. Actually, I'll do it for 10. Burn the edges in. So, in fact, I want to count this in. One, two, three, four, five. Just bouncing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. We'll see what happens uh, this time. See if I've just graduated dark into focusing towards the archway. Because that's the, the archway is the part of the image that I want viewers to see, not the edges. So if I can somehow gradient that into the arch, that'd be nice. Ah, the top of the sky now has gone too dark. That's going to cause more of a problem. Not too much though. Well, I'm sort of getting there, but I still think this is uh, this size too dark. I've really killed it, and I can see on this print that it is a darker part of the wall. So, more jiggy with poker we needed, definitely here in the sky, and that's all okay. That's all fine. I'm happy with that. Just this this area here and the sky. Let's try again. So this is my this is my last attempt, guys. I'm not going to uh, try and recover this 
this uh, this image. It's just so overexposed. I could I could end up playing with contrast five filters, but what's the point? You know, I think sometimes you get to a point and you think I'm not going to waste any more uh, time or paper on making a print. But I've done the best I could on here. You can see I've done the dodging here and the dodging here to stop this being black and the sky being so grey. Um, the rest of it's okay. It's just the sky is a bit muddy which I possibly could have, you know, burned this off and, and used a contrast five filter just on this part uh, uh, to, to pull, pop those trees out and make the skies white. But it's not something that, uh, that's especially important to me. So I'm just going to carry on in the dark room, have a beer and make a few more prints. So this was the first print that I made of the archway and you know I, I could have used some split grade filtering but I didn't. I just wanted to use my hands and do some dodging and burning in the dark room. I find that quite fun and educational as well. So that was the first print I made but it was not popping enough for me. Uh, and then you saw me playing around with some um, burning and trying to get it to look a bit better and uh, as I said in the video that the this was just way too dark over this side and also the sky had burnt in too much. And then I tried one more, I wasn't gonna waste any more time trying to uh, make a print that isn't really that important to me work. I could have spent a lot more time and, and, and got the trees working maybe with a grade five filter, making them pop and the sky to be a lot lighter. But, you know, it's, um, I enjoyed playing around. I wasn't gonna waste any more paper on that overexposed negative. But I did enjoy the other prints that I made. I'll just quickly show you those. So this is one of the fence ones that I shot. I'm looking down there at my screen so I can see that I'm not getting any light on this glossy paper. But I kind of like the composition where I got nice and close to that fence and let everything else in the background work for me. It's just a shame that those clouds weren't big and fluffy like they were when I left because they would have been nice and wispy. But, you know, hey-ho, beggars can't be choosers, can they? But that one was a bit too dark, so I did a bit more work in the dark room on that one and managed to get a print that I was happy with. So this will go in my collection. Again, I, I did another one of the fence looking straight on. And with the pinhole camera, you've got no viewfinder. You can only judge uh, where you're going. I'd like to have had those three poles bang in the middle of the, of the frame, but I've just got another one uh, sticking out here, uh, which is unfortunate, but again, it is what it is. It's a bit too dark, so I had to make another print just to line it up a little bit. And there we go there. I was quite happy with that as well. Composition's quite nice. But as I say, I do wish that I had um, those three loops, if you like, bang in the center of the frame. That would have been quite nice. And that's what I would have done if I had a viewfinder. But, you know, with the pinhole camera, you can't, you can only sort of guess what you're doing. Uh, that was the telephone box at the end. And, you know, looking up at that, I remember seeing the, the lamp. And I managed to get that one, that composition, as I imagined it when I, when I pulled the camera down and looked up at the telephone box. So, uh, you know, these things are all, are all being demolished in the UK. These telephone boxes are coming out of the ground and being put into scrap. So that's a bit of a nostalgic print one day, maybe. That was the, um, the seascape that I did from the top looking down. Not, not really, uh, you know, I'm not really into pinhole photography for doing this kind of, these kind of photographs. I like to get something close in the foreground. Uh, that's what I've learned looks best for me anyway. But uh, I'm quite happy with this as well. That was quite a nice, nice scene to do. And there's the bench. When I told you I was, I was looking for composition and light, I noticed the light was sitting on that on the seat there nicely. And uh, I could have done a little bit more dodging around the back of the, the bench area here because it's quite dark. But you know, it is what it is. There's a lot going on in that frame, and I quite like that print as well. And finally, we get on to the angry horse's head. I mean, 
Who designed that? Who wanted to put that in a kid's play park? And say, hey kids, ride on this angry horse. Look at it. So, um, but I remember that riding on them when I was a kid, you know. Uh, looking back, we weren't scared of it, but I can remember having good fun on those things. And I haven't seen one of those since God knows when. So uh, it was nice to get a photograph. And that's the beauty of shooting this medium format. You can see I've cropped in from what the contact print was. If you can see the contact print there. So uh, I raised the enlarger head and cropped in. Uh, and I've still got a lot to detail and it's relatively sharp for a, a, a pinhole photograph. So that was that. I'm quite pleased that I went out on that Sunday afternoon. I wasn't going to go out, but I decided to just go off and, and take some photographs. You know, I love photography, I especially love film photography. So going out and just plotting myself up and trying to find objects or subjects around me to take photographs of, it just sort of opens your mind a little bit and when you come back with the prints you look and you know at the time it might not have seen oh, why am I taking a photograph of railings or, or whatever but when you look at the prints you know what when they're framed and stuff they might actually look all right I've seen worse anyway guys hope you liked the video and I'll catch you next time <laughs>